doing what we do, it's not just handed to us. We really have to work hard and be disciplined, dedicate a lot of our time. And so I hope that we kind of leave that example to the younger generation to follow their dreams and no matter what comes at them, that they can still achieve whatever they put their minds to. We've known each other for a long time and we've been involved in, you know, in the program together for a long time. What makes us such a good team is that trust that we have in each other, in ourselves, in a team that really makes us a successful team. Even though it might look different in terms of how we perceive it, how we execute it, like we both trust that we're both on the same page at, at, all the time and we have the same goals and we know, know how to achieve it. It doesn't have to look the same but we have that trust that we're both you know, just putting our best in every day, every week, every year. <laughs> I'm a very proud Aboriginal woman, so it's just still very surreal that I'm the first Aboriginal female athlete to represent beach volleyball. It's, it's really special that, you know, I get to represent my people all over the world. It's not so common and, and it's nice that I get to share that, you know, we can how far we can go and I hope I'm inspiring the next generation to go out and have a go and not just even if it's in sport anything they want to want to achieve I think that's a really special part of what sport can show. Sport for me was a great way to get involved so I'm originally from Peru I arrived in Australia 11 years old didn't speak a word of English but I was I never had a fear I was ready for the challenge I think sport is almost like an international language so I got myself involved in all sports that I could in primary school. I fell in love with the beach volleyball and that was a way for me to build those relationships and feel more comfortable and confident around people even though I still couldn't speak a word of English. We are technically still a very young team um, which makes it exciting to see you know, how far we can continue to take it and yeah I'm definitely excited to see you know, the next 10 years what we can achieve. One of, one of my highlights in my career was one of TNI's main events in our partnership and it was at home and it was the first time beach volleyball was in the Commonwealth Games. So everything made it super special. Even though we fell short against Canada, it was still such an amazing experience um, that we won't forget. It was really nice for us to, you know, to get a bit of, a bit of taste of what we were able to achieve as a team and to be able to do it with our family around us. And, you know, from then we just kept getting stronger and stronger and we've achieved so much. We sit down at the beginning of every year and, and write down what we want to achieve and Birmingham Gold is definitely one, on, one to tick off and we have world champs, we've got a bronze medal that we have to turn into gold as well. So we have a few medals that we need to change to the right colour. <laughs>